Hi, my name is Ted Lederer, and this is all about art. <laughs> Today we're at the Elliot Lewis Gallery and we're going to start by looking at the work of Takashi Iwasaki and his solo exhibition Memories in Color, which runs from the end of November right through all of December. Uh, Takashi Iwasaki is uh, a young man, he's 27, 28 years old, he was born in Japan, he lives in Winnipeg and is become quite renowned for what he does, and what he does is work that really does have a long history in Japan. It's the fabric arts, and he does hand embroidery, and he does it usually, uh, or always, either on this twill material or on canvas. And everything that you're going to see for these 23 images in his exhibition is all hand done. Essentially, it's like a, um, an abstract diary of his daily life his thoughts, emotions, his feelings. Obviously, we the viewer don't necessarily understand what it is that he's abstracting, but we see the end result and the process. And they're, they're lovely, they're lyrical. Uh, many of the works have a musicality and a musical quality to them. And that's what he does. So we invite you to come and see the work. We also have a number of other works showing at the gallery outside of the solo exhibition and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about them. So let's start with the work of 12 Midnight. So 12 Midnight, it's obviously a moniker. It's uh, for a very talented Vancouver artist. And there was a movement, or there is a movement known as lowbrow. Uh, we don't particularly like that term. I like to call it contemporary pop. But this is a man that comes out of that movement, which really encompasses everything from car culture, tattooing, tiki culture, uh, pop art, really is contemporary pop. And he does it and he executes it in a style that is inimitably his own and no one else's. And we are very, very pleased. This is the first time that 12 Midnight has really exhibited in a high-end gallery. And we are going to carry his work and do a solo exhibition for him in March. And we are very excited by that. Let me walk over to another artist that the gallery has represented for some time, and the artist is Stephanie Hemming. The works behind me are uh, typical of Stephanie. Stephanie has worked uh, in this manner for about five years now. Uh, she's been an artist for 15, 20 years. This is really what she's doing is a reductive technique. She's putting on a layer of color, then she's putting on the dark over it, and pulling the dark away. So instead of what you think of painting where you add, she's actually doing it in a reductive technique. And she does these lovely nests. She's really become known for that. Uh, in her last exhibition, she began to take that nest theme and work it into grasses and into some more abstract work. Uh, but what people think of when they think of Stephanie Hemming is this reductive technique that she's now exploring further and further. And it's interesting because when I talked to Stephanie about it, she feels that even though she's been working on this for years, that, she ha that there's so much more to do with the process. And we look forward to it. All right, let's go take a look at some of the sculpture of Francis Semple. Francis is a Victoria-based artist. Victoria, Vancouver, been around for and sculpting for, oh, two or three decades, well known. And really this is an iconic piece of Francis Semple sculpture in that you can see part of the armature. Uh, there's bits and pieces of the body that's not there. It's there so that you can partially see the process. This is classically Francis Semple. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the work of Tom Forstall, which is hanging a little further back in the gallery. Tom Forstall next to Alex Colville, really Canada's great, great, and the Pratts, Canada's four great magic realists. The work behind me is egg tempera. Egg tempera is an extremely difficult medium to work in and really almost a dying art in the Western world. And you can see the beautiful 
beautiful detail that he's worked into this. We are the only gallery, I think west of Toronto, to carry his work and we feel very fortunate. We have three of his pieces in this show. We also have a number of his watercolors which are not in the show but, the gal but that the gallery carries. Around me you'll see the work of Carolyn Stockbridge. Carolyn is an artist who trained in New York, uh, has lived in a number of places around the world, and as of the last couple of years made Vancouver home. Uh, Carolyn is an abstract expressionist. You can see how fresh and clean these works are and how vibrant and contemporary they are. Carolyn's got an exhibition coming up at the show in January, so she's actually the next solo exhibition. I'm standing in front of the work of artist Helma Sawatsky. Helma plays with digital images. She calls it data mulchin, which is just such a lovely term. She takes all this data that's data digitally and mulches it. And you'll see in these two works how she's taken very well-known historical art pieces and played with them. Thank you for visiting the Elliott Lewis Gallery. I hope that you enjoyed your time with us. We hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.